Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of colors and exploring a question that has intrigued many. Why do TVs and monitors use the RGB color model while traditional color mixing in art uses the RYB model? It's a journey through the science of light and color perception. So buckle up and let's get started. To begin with, let's clarify what these acronyms stand for. RGB stands for red, green, and blue, which are the primary colors of light. This model is widely used in electronic displays such as TVs, computer monitors, and cameras. On the other hand, RYB stands for red, yellow, and blue, which are the primary colors used in traditional painting and color mixing in art classes. At first glance, it might seem confusing why we have two different sets of primary colors. However, the distinction arises from the different ways colors are created and perceived in various contexts. Let's start with RGB. This model is based on the additive color theory, which deals with the way light combines to create colors. Imagine shining three different spotlights, one red, one green, and one blue, onto a white surface. Where these lights overlap, they create new colors. For instance, Red and green lights combine to make yellow, green, and blue create cyan, and blue and red make magenta. When all three lights combine, they produce white light. This phenomenon occurs because our eyes have photoreceptor cells called cones that are sensitive to these three colors. By varying the intensity of each light, electronic displays can produce a wide spectrum of colors that our brains perceive as different hues. The RGB color model was adopted by television and monitor manufacturers because it closely aligns with the way our visual system processes light. In the early days of color television, engineers needed a practical way to reproduce a wide range of colors using limited technology. RGB provided an efficient solution because it requires only three primary colors to generate the full color gamut. This efficiency was crucial in the design of CRT, cathode ray tube screens, where three electron guns, each corresponding to red, green, and blue, could be used to produce images. Modern LCD and OLED screens have continued to use RGB for similar reasons, with tiny pixels made up of red, green, and blue subpixels. Now, let's switch gears and talk about RYB. This color model is based on subtractive color theory, which deals with the way pigments mix. When you mix paints, dyes, or inks, you're working with subtractive colors. This means that pigments absorb certain wavelengths of light and reflect others. For example, a red pigment absorbs most wavelengths except for red, which it reflects. When you mix red and yellow paint, the resulting color is orange because the combination absorbs more wavelengths and reflects the ones that correspond to orange. The RYB model has been around for centuries, long before the science of light was fully understood. Artists and early color theorists developed the RYB model based on empirical observations of how pigments mixed. The three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, were chosen because they could be combined to produce a wide range of other colors. This system worked well for artists because it simplified the color mixing process, making it easier to understand and use in practice. So why don't we use the same model for both light and pigment? The answer lies in the fundamental differences between how light and pigments create color. As mentioned earlier, the RGB model is additive, meaning it deals with light sources that add together to produce color. In contrast, the RYB model is subtractive, meaning it deals with pigments that subtract wavelengths from white light to produce color. These two processes are fundamentally different, leading to the use of different primary colors. In fact, in modern printing and more advanced color mixing in art, the RYB model has been somewhat replaced by the CMY, cyan, magenta, yellow model. 
CMY is a more accurate subtractive color model, which when combined with black, K for key, forms the CMYK model used in color printing. Cyan, magenta, and yellow are the true subtractive primaries because they correspond more closely to the way our eyes perceive color. Mixing these colors results in a broader and more accurate range of colors compared to the RYB model. Digital art and design often use both RGB and CMYK models, depending on the context. For anything that will be displayed on a screen, RGB is the go-to model because it matches the additive nature of light emitted by screens. When preparing artwork for printing, designers switch to CMYK to ensure accurate color reproduction on paper. Understanding the distinction between these models is crucial for artists, designers, and anyone working with color. Color calibration is another important aspect of working with these different models. Ensuring that the colors you see on your screen match what gets printed requires careful calibration of both your monitor and your printer. This process involves adjusting the settings so that the RGB values on your screen accurately reflect the CMYK values used in printing. Professional designers and photographers often use specialized tools and software to achieve this level of accuracy, ensuring that their work looks the same no matter how it's viewed. The exploration of color theory has a rich history with contributions from many notable figures. Isaac Newton's experiments with prisms in the 17th century laid the groundwork for our understanding of light and color. He discovered that white light could be split into a spectrum of colors, which could then be recombined to form white light again. This discovery was crucial in developing the additive color theory that underpins the RGB model. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe a renowned writer and scientist, took a different approach in the 19th century. He focused on the psychological and artistic aspects of color, developing his own color wheel based on the RYB model. Goethe's work emphasized the emotional and symbolic meanings of colors, which resonated with artists and influenced color theory in the arts. Today, our understanding of color theory continues to evolve with advances in both science and technology. In the digital age, the RGB model is more relevant than ever, underpinning the vibrant displays of our devices. Meanwhile, the principles of subtractive color mixing remain fundamental in art and printing, though the CMY model has largely supplanted RYB in professional applications. So to summarize, the use of RGB for screens and RYB for traditional color mixing arises from the different ways light and pigments interact to create color. RGB is based on additive color theory, suitable for light-emitting devices, while RYB, and more accurately, CMY, is based on subtractive color theory, suitable for pigments and printing. Each model serves its purpose in its respective domain, allowing us to experience and create a vast array of colors in our everyday lives. I hope this exploration of color models has shed some light on the fascinating interplay between science and art. Whether you're a digital artist, a traditional painter, or just someone who loves color, understanding these concepts can enrich your appreciation of the visual world. Thanks for joining us today. See you next time. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.